Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, am equals n plus p, and we're solving that for, p, uh, for a. Solving that for a. So to do that, I have an a times n equals n plus p. I'm going to rewrite that. Then I see there's multiplication there next to the a. I need to get rid of that m, right, to get a by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by n. Make sure when you divide, you're dividing both parts, the whole thing, n plus the p. A lot of students I see will just, like, bring it to the n or just the p, okay? So the m's cancel on the left, leave me with an a by itself on the left, equals, well, none of these are like terms, so I can't combine anything. So I just have this. a equals n plus p all over m, and that is, in fact, my final answer. So let's recap. We have a times m equals n plus p, and we're solving that for a. So I rewrote my equation, and then I noticed there's multiplication between the a and the m. So I divided the m to both sides, so I can isolate my a. By doing so, the m's canceled on the left, leaving with an n plus p on the right, all over m. Well, since it canceled, a was already isolated, and so there's no like terms to combine, so I was done. And so my final answer here being, or is, a equals n plus p all over m. And make sure it's all over, right, all over that m there on the denominator. 